Hi everyone, Andrea here. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel, Day in the Life of a Trucker's Wife. I am here with my handsome husband, Aww. also known as the Trucker. And today we have for you a review and unboxing of ex an exploration crate. An exploration crate, and I'll show you the box while I'm explaining this. An Exploration Crate is a box full of different snacks from around the world. Uh, this is our first Exploration Crate and I'm not sure what country is going to be inside. From the way it's described on the website, it sounds like every month is all one country's snack. So we're pretty excited yeah. to try this out. Should be fun. Um, and so here we go. We have not looked inside this box, so we are going to take you with us as we do this. And I may need your assistance. Okay. So when you open the box, these are the first things you see. There's a snack list. So it's going to tell us exactly what's in here and a little description of what it is okay and I'm guessing we're getting turkey I don't think we're getting <laughs> turkey but snacks, from, snacks turkey. from turkey yes so that's pretty cool I mean probably never go to turkey so <laughs> be cool be to get there. some snacks so and then inside as you can see there are several different snacks um, just to give you a little explanation as well there are three different size boxes that you can order from exploration crates and you there is a large crate that is thirty dollars and inside the large crate you get ten plus full-size snacks and you're part of they have something called a passport program um, you can go to the website and get more detail on what that is and then there is a business crate size which is seven to eight full-size snacks and that is twenty dollars and then for fourteen dollars you get an economy size which is four to five full-size snacks and I want to say I think this is the business class I think it is I think it is okay That's so yeah, if you want it, to just kind of pull them out. And we are looking, we'll just go down the list. What do you think? Okay. All right. So the first thing is Elverine. I'll let you find that. Oh. And it says these little wafer chocolates are like Turkish Kit Kats. Ooh. They look like it. Oh, cool. So they are a milky chocolate covering a crisp cookie wafer. You may have either Alvarin Milky or Alvarin Original, which is hazelnut. Do we know which we have? I do not. Hazelnut, I believe. Okay. Maybe by the picture. All right. So, all oh, right. There's two of them. Oh. And they're the same? Exact same? Yes. Okay. All right. Do we want to just open one and try it? Okay. We'll save the other. Okay. Oh. It's very crunchy. <laughs> I'll give you that one. All right, here we go. Oh. Alvarin from Turkey. It smells Turkey. sweet. It smells good. It smells like a Kit Kat. It smells like a Kit Kat, I think. It smells good. This is what it looks like. All right, let's see. Mm. Not overly sweet. I thought it was going to be sweeter. Mm. Mm. It reminds me more of the uh, like strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate wafers that you can get at Dollar Tree. Or you know what I'm talking about? They're not chocolate covered. Um, kind of I don't know drier than I thought. What I was thinking is those wafers, but it's chocolate covered, but the chocolate it wasn't like a, a sweet, like a milk chocolate. Right. It was good. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, would I 
buy it over a Kit Kat? I don't think so. Kit Kats are definitely way better, but not bad. All right, moving on. Okay, we're looking for Maniki Nuga. Maniki. And it Nuga. says, although Maniki. although Nuga. small, these little treats are a nice sweet snack. They are chocolate filled. Yes. And <laughs> with a white creamy filling. Wait, chocolate filled with a white cream. So white chocolate. No chocolate. Uh -huh. White white in the inside. Oh, okay. New and. Hit. The outside is like a milk chocolate. All right, super sweet but super fun. They are chocolate filled with a white cream filling. Okay. We are into fun. Let's see. <laughs> it's got a carrot on it. See the That's carrot? Fun. That must mean it's good for you. It's a yes. good candy bar. I sure. No. Miniki Nuga. Torku. Made by a company called Torku. Torku. All right. So let's do this. Oh, oh it's <laughs> it's like um, a Milky Way yeah. texture. Soft. You know what it tastes like? Do you detect coconut? A little bit of coconut and it reminds me of Eagle's condensed milk in a can. Like the center of it has that really sweet, milky, creamy taste. It's good. It's sweet. But I don't detect any one distinctive flavor. It's not like a Milky Way at all. Yeah, the best I can come up with is like eagle's milk out of, the, out of that small can. Well, but. I'm thinking we didn't purge our taste buds, um, but it's not overpowering either. It's like a mild candy bar. It's it's good. Mm -hmm. so, I would buy it. If it was available, I would buy it. Yeah, I'd probably buy it, especially, I mean, it's really sweet. I feel like a glass of milk would be needed when eating that. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the next one. Today, croissant to cream. That's what it says. Today, croissant to cream. Got it. This croissant is like any other croissant. Sweet, flaky, buttery, but so much better. It's jam-packed with a hazelnut creamy filling. Sweet and savory combined. I'm liking this already because I love hazelnut, which hazelnut is like Nutella. So I'm kind of thinking it might be Do you notice that it also has English and a little bit of maybe Turkish. Turkish, Turkish but isn't that interesting? The other ones didn't have much English on them. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, guys, it's definitely. <laughs> it's a croissant. A croissant. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so from the outside, you can't smell that there's anything sweet going on. No. Okay, so let me. I'm just going to tear off some. Oh, that looks Can you hold that, flaky. please? Okay. So. Beautiful. That's what it looks like. Just filled. Mm. It smells good. So I'll leave this. Let me try. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't get my filling. Have more <laughs> hmm. Another thing to note is that in the package, it's still very fresh. 
No, definitely fresh. Yeah, it's it's spongy. Um, a little bit flaky, but not in a bad sense. Not well, like it's falling uh, apart. Croissant is supposed to be flaky. Right, but it's not like old or or, or anything like that. It tastes good. It doesn't taste like Nutella. I think it tastes more like chocolate pudding. I have croissant in my hair. Um, I don't know what the white is. I, it doesn't really taste like anything to me. Uh oh. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I definitely would probably try it again. So, okay, that was today croissant. I like it. Two cream. Okay, cool. All right, next one is Elvan Truffle. And it says small in size but large in flavor. These little truffles come in several flavors. You may have gotten either caramel, hazelnut, or strawberry. Enjoy the smooth chocolate and sweet filling. I'm not sure what flavor we got. Well, oh, it looks strawberry. like strawberry. Strawberry, yeah. Okay. And that's the only one? Yes. Okay. So we have to. <laughs> Split. We'll just take a bite and I'll eat the other. Oh, look at the packaging. It was nice. Hmm. Got a paper around it, around the cellophane. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to bite it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, it definitely smells. It smells like strawberry quick, you guys. That is very good. Mm -hmm. That is just like chocolate and strawberry. But creamy inside. I hope you got to see the inside. But it was um mm. that was tasty. That was so good. Definitely like um strawberry clip. And I would buy that if I could. That if was delicious. That just, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, there is another one. There was two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we'll save it for later. Yeah. yeah like we'll it. fight over it for later. Yes. Look, that look was so good. If, if we can find that, we'll definitely be buying some of those. All right. On to the next. Coco meal. Coco meal. Yes. And this is pretty large. Okay. These little cookies are surrounded by a marshmallow and coconut shell. They are really fully and they are really full. Or see, they have typed here really fully. Really fully. And have a great combination of flavors. So, surrounded by marshmallow and coconut shell. I love marshmallow. I love coconut. We are going to be in for a winner. Oh. Okay. So they're so, individual cookies, I believe. I'm gonna take one. Yeah. And show the people at home. All right. So. So there's coconut on the outside. Oh. Uh, and marshmallow mm. on the inside. It tastes just like the description says. Coconut, marshmallow, and uh, like a cookie. It's okay. I don't... I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. It's... No. No. I don't know what to compare it to. It's dry. Yeah. It's really crumbly. Very um, messy. You can taste the coconut, mm -hmm. but it doesn't taste very good. Um, and I love coconut, so Coco Mio, no, not a fan of I that. wonder if this chocolate is like a dark chocolate, or is this like a milk chocolate? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't say. Maybe on the package, but 
I don't think that would help. The package is not very much English. Okay. On to the next. Should have grabbed a napkin, but... Okay. Ochre sesame sticks. These are crispy pretzel-like sticks with a sesame seed coated shell. They make a great savory treat to munch on. Okay. So some sort of sesame stick. Like a pretzel. Mm. That looks good. Oh wait, but you're not supposed to have sesame. Hmm. I like these. I like I love sesame. It's more like a cracker than a pretzel. I really like these. Do you feel it has like a burnt flavor to it? Does the coke or the sesame seeds are toasted? That's what it is. But I like it. It'd be okay. good dipped in some kind of herb cream cheese or something. I don't know. I like those. It's a little different than a pretzel. I, I was expecting more of a pretzel taste, but maybe with those seeds, it's. Yeah, and there's quite a few oh, in this package. Yeah. So I like them. I would clip, probably give it a pass. Clip ochre sesame sticks. All right. Um, we, what do we have left? Two more things. Tat crack. Tat crack spicy. I'm not making this stuff up. So it's spicy crackers on it too. Tat crack. Tat crack. And it says these crackers may say they are spicy, but we would classify them more as zesty. They have a great garden salsa type flavor. Want me to taste one first in case they are hot? I will take my chances and eat with you. Oh, and I just noticed on this little piece of paper they have the pictures. Durr. Pictures on there. I've squeezed them out for you. Okay. So it's a decent sized oh. cracker. It smells a little bit spicy. But it smells spicy in a, not a hot way, in an herby way. Herby way, yeah. Herby. That is a good flavor. I would eat this. I really don't taste much. You are eating it. Yes. <laughs> but mm. if it was available in the store. They are not hot. No. And, wow, there's a lot in here. That's kind of cool. I'm like, I mean, these would be good with Winchuler cheese. Mm, that's what I was thinking. Or um, an herb cheese spread. Yeah. These are okay. I like them. Cool. Definitely not hot spicy. No. It's, it's funny how different parts of the world things mean different things. You know, so yeah, that was pretty good. All right, and the last thing is a Pella 3D chocolate. 3D, it does say 3D. That's cool packaging. Okay, and the description says, while it is another chocolate wafer bar, it's also a fun long treat. It's a milk chocolate bar with several layers of crispy wafers. Okay, so. Maybe similar to the first thing we had. It certainly might look like that. Hmm. Take a bite. Oh, and it even has the, the crosshair. Okay, take a bite. No, break it off. That way you see the inside before you bite. Show them. <laughs> I didn't I show did. them. Oh, okay. Mmm. This one's a lot better than the first one. I think this is closer to a Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Maybe like a king size Kit Kat, how they are separate. If they made the bigger size Kit Definitely Kat. Definitely better. It's not as, I mean, 
It's it's not as crumbly dry inside of it. When you bite into it, it holds together. The chocolate around it tastes more like a good milk chocolate. Yeah, I just, it's still not as good as a Kit Kat, so I wouldn't go out and buy one over a Kit Kat, but I think that's pretty good. So yeah, those are all pretty good. I know, I think I know what your favorite's going to be, and I think it's going to be my favorite, but what's your favorite? I think the truffle, the strawberry, the strawberry. And chocolate truffle. You guys, this thing was absolutely delicious. If you love strawberry quick, that yeah, was definitely our favorite. Excellent. So if you ever come across Elvin strawberry truffles, definitely pick some up. I would have liked um, some of the other, because they said it came in two different flavors. Yeah, it looks Three like Three different flavors. They had caramel, hazelnut. Or strawberry, yeah. but that was so good. That's one of really the my favorite strawberry things I've probably ever had. I like it in a candy. But yeah, so this was our first exploration crate. And hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more, um, definitely comment down below if you have any questions about the box. And... We will see you next time. Later. Bye.